so these are the pieces that I'll be recreating for the customer. This is a vintage piece from the 80s. It has a classic sweetheart neckline with a diamante trim. Has bone in in the princess seams, has darks on the skirt here. And it's just like a just above the knee mini length. And it has a centre back zip with a back split. So I think that's yeah, this is a really timeless piece. And I'm not surprised that she wants to recreate it because you could easily wear this now. And this is the jacket, but it's not really a jacket, it's more of a bolero because a real jacket would have like buttons at the front. Um, but this doesn't, so it's like a bolero cover-up jacket. It has this geometric zigzag and curved detail at the neck. It's a cropped style. I think it comes to the waist. It has nice long sleeves and it has a centre back seam at the back. So these two pieces, I can really see them both being worn today. It's really easy, the timeless pieces. So it really just goes to show when you buy well, you can wear them for years and years to come. And I think because the customer has chosen black leather, it will make it even more timeless and contemporary as well. So yeah, those are the pieces. So when I'm starting a project, I like to hang up my samples here so I can see it's right next to my desk so that I have constant access to it because I'm literally recreating these pieces as they are. Right, so first things first, I need to sketch the designs on a piece of paper and because I am not the best at sketching. I actually just use a template. I just copied this from a sketchbook I had. And the reason I use this is so that all my proportions are in line with how the body is, like the ratio is correct. So that's the only thing really that needs to be um, on point are the proportions, like so proportions to the shoulders, you know, the bust, the waist, to the hips and the legs. Um, so then you can really see if a garment is a short garment, as in like a short dress or a maxi dress. Uh, so I just use this. It's just so plain, so basic, but it does the job. I'm not the best sketcher, but this helps me. And I just place a blank piece of paper on top and then I sketch away.
Okay, so, so far I have the centre back panel for the bodice, the side back panel, the side front panel, and the centre front panel. So that's the centre back, side back, front side, and centre front panel. That's all done here. I just need to do the skirt section of the dress now. We're getting there, we're getting there!